Kentucky celebrated the groundbreaking today of a retail and entertainment village. The spot is where a store burned down during the L.A. riots. ATVN's Emily Thurnberg talked with people about what this means for the community. Since the L.A. riots, this lot has sat empty, but it won't be empty for long. Oh, okay. <laughs> this community has been messed up for a long time. And it's about time something is happening over here. A $200 million project called Vermont Entertainment Village will sit on two full blocks. It's located at the Vermont and Manchester intersection. Councilman Bernard Park says this gives the community exactly what they want. A grocery store that we, we need. We're looking at a sit down, sit down restaurants that we need. We're looking at a bank that we need. And we're looking at drugstores. Joe Mozambia has lived and worked across the street for 15 years and says it should have happened 20 years ago. We mean, life for everybody. We'll, we'll all be in, we'll be in the same place. We can all make money now and not having to go all over town and make a dollar. We can make it right here where we live. The development team says the village should generate $99 million in sales tax revenue each year. Developers say this won't only be a spot for residents to come down and enjoy themselves, but to also get employment. They're requiring their general contractors to do local hiring for their construction projects. Even though we're not taking any government funding, it's fully privately funded. We're, we know that we need to do and create a local job hiring fair. One local businessman who installs sprinklers hopes to be a part of the project. We're not asking for any uh, extra incentives, you know, just give us a fair shake. So Sony Properties hopes to see the village open by the end of 2016. Emily Thornburg, ATVN.